The new LEGO Ninjago Dragons Rising Summer 2024 sets have been revealed, and I'm going to give my thoughts on them. The first set is the Tournament Training Ground Polybag, and it's always nice to get polybags like this with two minifigures. We get Cole and a Wolf Mask Warrior with a new red and purple color scheme that doesn't look as good. The build is a simple polybag build, I'm not even sure what the feature is, but the main draw for this are the figures. The second set is Zane's Ice Motorcycle, and this is the weakest set in the wave. We see these motorcycle types of sets all the time in the theme, and this isn't that great of one. I do like the new suits that the ninja have for this wave though. The third set is the Tournament Battle Arena. The minifigures are pretty interesting here. I like that Sora and Eren in another set both finally have new suits. Jay looks like he's on the villain's side, so I'm curious to see what happens with him as he's been pretty absent in the show. We also get a new Tox figure, which is cool as the previous version was only in the Ultra Agent sets. Now for the build. I think the tournament aspect might be a retread of Tournament of Elements, but I kinda like that because that was my favorite season. And I like those types of stories. I just hope that this will be as good as that. I think that this build does look good, the statue looks a bit plain, but everything else looks nice with fighting places and a big drum. The fourth set is the Ninja Team Combo Vehicle. This reminds me a lot of the Ultra Sonic Raider sets, but the only one I think it looks better than is the Legacy version. The green color does make it a bit different, but it does also have the vehicle split feature and like usual I think it looks better together, though I do think the motorcycles look okay on their own. The fifth set is Cole's Titan Dragon Mech. For a set this big, it's weird that it only includes one minifigure. That minifigure is interesting being an exclusive unique Cole with a white outfit. That isn't my favorite look, but it would have been nice to see at least one other figure here. The build is a giant mech that Ninjago is great at doing, but these types of sets don't interest me even though they do look cool. It's just I don't love mechs and I prefer smaller mechs to the bigger ones. The sixth set is the Source Dragon of Motion. Like I mentioned before, it's nice to see Eren in a new suit, also with new figures for the villains, including a new Roz who is becoming my favorite Dragon's Rising character. The build is another huge amazing dragon that Ninjago is also great at doing, and I do like dragons more than mechs. This looks like one of the biggest dragons they've ever made, and it's neat to see one of the source dragons in a regular set. There's also a big throne on top with the Gong of Shattering, and it looks like Roz is controlling the dragon. The seventh and final set is Tournament Temple City. This has a lot of great figures including a new Mr. Pill, who like Tox was only available in Ultra Agents before. It's interesting that the only Elemental Masters to get new figures are them two. Maybe it's just to actually get them in the Ninjago theme. And I'm wondering if they will actually appear in the show, and if they do, maybe the other Elemental Masters will return. The build is a beautiful temple build with a cape underneath that would look great on display. It comes with a dragon that doesn't look the best, but I'm wondering what dragon this is. This probably is the best set of the wave and one of the best Ninjago temple sets still probably behind the Temple of Air Jitsu. So those were my thoughts on the new Summer 2024 LEGO Ninjago Dragons Rising sets. These sets are great even if they don't all interest me, and this is the first Ninjago wave in a while that has kind of piqued my interest. I'm also really looking forward to the second part of Dragons Rising Season 2, as the first part was fantastic. But anyway, that's all I have to say. See you next time. Goodbye.